Hey, I'm Matt Moret with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. If you're like me, you can't wait for turkey season to get started. You know, we took some time to shoot a few tips to hopefully help you be more successful this spring. And by successful, I mean enjoying every day that you get out there. Hey, best of luck this spring, and thank you for being a Pennsylvania hunter. You know, one of the things about turkey hunting that it's tough, I mean, if we called one gobbled and they ran in and we were walking home with one over our shoulder every time, we wouldn't keep coming back. It's those ones that frustrate you. They gobble, you can hear the earth just pounding and they're right over that crest and uh, hung up. It happens to all of us. And you know, one of the reasons, as it is in nature, hens go to those gobblers. Well, here's just a couple things you can do to maybe try your luck. And, and one of the things that we do as turkey hunters, we get excited, our emotions are, are uh, Adrenaline's pumping, our emotions, I mean, it's just, it's an exciting sport, but the softer you can call to that turkey, the more content kind of stuff, a lot of times he'll come, you know, and break that, that hung up position. He might come up there and look for that hen, and, you know, if he ever decoys out or what have you, you know, he's always going to be looking for where he hears that sound, but instead of yelping real loud or calling real loud, the closer they get, just that soft. Turkeys are doing that all the time. They're always talking to each other. Maybe clucks and purrs. Closer it gets, soften your calling down. Now here's part two on that hung up scenario. Let's say he's, again, he's out there, he's just 50 yards away, but he's over the crest of that hill. You can hear him. He's drumming, he's strutting. Every once in a while he gobbles, he's looking for you. But he, he wants you to come to him. And obviously, the minute you stand up, he's going. So soft, contented calls. Maybe grab a stick. You know, when hens are up there, especially in the woods like this, lots of leaves, you can sound like that hen walking, maybe scratching. You, know, you got to keep your eyes peeled. You've got a little movement here. Obviously, you want to make sure he can't see you. Remember, if you've been calling to him, he knows exactly where you're at. Put that down. Maybe add some calling with it. like chewing gum and walking at the same time. You gotta get used to this. And you know, you always wanna have your gun ready, you know, at least pointed in that direction on your knee when you're doing that in case he shows up over that hill. But you know, keep it soft, keep it subtle. Don't blow his eardrums out. Now let's go number three on that hung up turkey. Let's say again, he's out there at 50 yards, you soft call him, you, you scratching the leaves. Here's something that I like to do a lot is move my calling. You know, when a hen's calling, you watch her, she's always moving her head and she's calling in different directions. But in this scenario, if you're by yourself, if you have a buddy, it's great. He can ease back down in here and yelp like that hen's going away. But if you're by yourself and you know he's over that hill, just turn your head and call behind you. Project your call like that hen's walking away. Or if he's out this way, you might want to turn back here so he comes by you. Sometimes that'll make the difference, but not every time. It's turkey hunting. Don't get discouraged. Keep going after him and pay attention to everything that, you know, that nature allows you. Listen for hens, listen for little birds, listen for a squirrel barking over there. All that stuff, everything's communicating out here. That's what turkey hunting's all about. All right, I wanna just wanna come back real quick and talk about that kind of directional calling. You re remember, when you yelp towards a turkey, and that's what our brain tells us to do, that turkey's gobbling out here, we wanna call right to him. He knows exactly where you're at, and when he comes looking, he's gonna be looking where he hears that hen. So I'm kinda of gonna talk about that directional calling. I'll call this way, and then I'm gonna cover the mic, and, and kind of, hopefully, it, it shows where that sound's going. And, you know, you can, you can move your head and call. That's one of the habits with your hands. You can directionalize at any time as long as that turkey's out there and he can't see you.